We can't just do nothing. Jessica Shelley accused me of killing Adam. It's preposterous. I think she was very careful about not making any specific accusations. I don't care. I didn't do it. I know you didn't. And I'm sure so does everyone else. I mean, you and Adam were friends. And I guess you haven't seen all the ridiculous theories on the forums of the weekends. Apparently, I'm such a jealous lover that Adam and Nalink's marriage wasn't enough. I just had to wipe him out of existence. Hey, I thought we both agreed that we won't go read that crap anymore. Yeah, well, I couldn't sleep. I had to do something. Maybe Jessica really believes that you are the one who did it. Why wouldn't she? Adam falls off the roof. I found unconscious on the roof. Conveniently lost my memory. Maybe I should go confront her. Tell her to stop. Please, don't. You just make things worse by giving her more fodder. Let's just let the police handle this, all right? Right, your, your last treatment was uh, two weeks ago, right? Yes, yes. Uh, I'm going to see the doctor later. Right, OK. I'll come see you after it. Yeah? Okay. What are you doing? Stop embarrassing me. Hey, she. Can a proud father capture his lovely daughter in action without being scolded? Not if you're going to send it to the whole world again. Hey, Kenneth. Hey, wait. Don't tell me you are going to labour right now. <laughs> I wish. If I were, then I wouldn't have to deal with fussy, fussy pants over here anymore. Joke's on you, because I'm the father of our children. Hmm. He tried to get me into the hospital in the middle of the night because my blood pressure was a little high. Babe, the BP monitor doesn't lie. Gestational hypertension is risky for someone like you. You have been taking my blood pressure every hour. Of course it's going to be on the high side. Okay. Good to see you guys. We really should get going for our appointment. No, no, no. I'm going to get to the appointment. You are going to wait right here. Now you're just being unreasonable. <gasps> unreasonable? I'm sorry. I have just been carrying around our ginormous twins for the past 37 weeks while you have been overreacting about every little thing. Fine. I have it over then. Ajay. Ajay! Ajay! Uh, are you going to be okay? It's just a doctor's appointment. I'm going to be just fine. Okay, well, if, if there's anything you need. What I need is for my husband to bring me those five walnut banana muffins I have been craving since 6 a.m. this morning. Sorry to put this on you. I know you already have a lot going on about Matthew. What good would talking to Jessica do, though? The damage is done. Maybe it'll make her think twice about pulling another stunt like this. Or maybe take back what she said. If you're concerned about the police... It's not just about the police. Young is really affected that Jessica is painting him out to be some kind of killer. He's barely slept a wink. Please, Yoke. You're the only one that Jessica might consider listening to. I will see what I can do. We should sue her. Make her take down the video. Well, technically, she didn't accuse Shen of anything. She just kind of implied it. Miss what? Did he keep Adam? No, lah, of course not. It's unfortunate that Shen was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Uh, hey, hey, customer, customer. Oh. Although, I can kind of see why Shen would have a bone to pick with Adam. Uh, yeah, but even uh, Ella got together with Yang, uh, they were okay. Yeah, I don't know why uh, Ella always got all this online nonsense. It was the same thing last year. huh? Don't know whether she can take it or not. Oh, she's matured a lot since then. I mean, they both have. Uh, yeah, that Jessica. Uh, I know she's being affected by Adam's death, but looking for someone to blame uh, like that... <sighs> Just because she said doesn't mean she should tell lies. I guess people cope with grief differently. I keep telling the gynae that it's white coat syndrome, but she's not buying it. I mean, I know my own body. Being pregnant isn't for you, is it? <laughs> you already get Ajay here? No, because he'll get all shivery because my blood pressure is a little high. Now they want to keep me here until the other test results are ready. And I don't need the I told you so's from you know who when he finds out. Oh. 
You know, that's just his way of showing that he cares. I know, I know, but he gets stressed out. And when he gets stressed out, then I get stressed out. And when I get stressed out, the babies get stressed out. And then when, oh, you get the idea. <laughs> totally. You know, in fact, I am pretty sure I was way worse when Diana was expecting. <laughs> but it gets easier after the first one. I'm not sure I want to go through this whole thing again. No, nah, you never know. You may fall in love with being a mother and go for another pair of twins. <laughs> that is a huge maybe. <laughs> anyway, I'm, I'm sorry for unloading on you. I'm sure you have better things to do than listen to me ramble on. <laughs> I don't. Perks of being a consultant. <laughs> now I wish I was a consultant. My emails have been going crazy since I got here. You know, if you want, I could stay with you just until the test results come out. Um, sure. If you want to. Nice acting the little video you did, Jessica. I wasn't acting. I don't know why you wanted to achieve that, but you're aware that the police don't run around investigating every single rumor that's spewed online. Of course I know that. What do you take me for? It was never about the police. According to Jessica, Dr. Shen is mentally unstable. That's why he can't remember what happened on the roof. He should thank his lucky stars for that. Well, we all know how poorly he reacts to being on the receiving end of online abuse. I mean, just last month, he barged into my house and made such a big mess because he thought that I made some silly comments online. That is what I wanted to exploit. So, you want to get into his head? I think if Jessica can get him to a place where he's doubting even his own account of events, who knows? The police can even stop their investigation. I wonder if there's something more we can do. Look. <laughs> We've discussed all the options, and we think it's the safest if we just let things run its natural course. Now, let's double down. Hey. What is the best way to get someone to review their true colors? Well, I would say it depends on what they're hiding and how much they want it to remain hidden. Hmm. I think I know what this is about. You do? Yeah. What happened with Adam was very tough for the entire family. The spotlight was on the Shelleys once again for the wrong reasons. Everybody and their mother had a theory as to how it happened. Your mother in particular has been rather emotional. I want her not to stir the pot, but she did. What did you make of that video of hers? I guess it was a judgment call. I don't agree with her methods, but I do think it's put pressure on that Dr. Shen. I just wish there was a way to get someone who's been lying to expose themselves? Well, without evidence, it's difficult. The best you can hope for is to beat them at their own game. In poker, it's called slow playing. Slow playing. That's when you make weak bets with a strong hand. The whole idea is to lull your opponent into a false sense of security. If there's one thing I've learned over the years, yo, it takes a snake to catch a snake. having what's known as gestational hypertension. Uh, uh, my babies, are they going to be okay? Well, the good news is it's mild. Right now, there's no reason for us to suspect anything amiss, but we'll just have to keep you here for the night. Ugh. Well, that's good news though, right? I mean, you and the twins are fine. Yeah, but RJ's going to be all, I told you so. 
and it's gonna give him an excuse to be even more paranoid. <laughs> Do you want me to call him for you so that you can tell him? Fine. Mm. Hey, Ajay, I got Cameron on the line for you. Hi. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'm fine, and, and the twins are fine. Yeah, I'm relieved, too. Hey, um, are you still getting those muffins that I asked for? Would it be a huge inconvenience if you could get me some of those chocolate croissants from that French place I like? Oh, thank you. You are the best. Just take your time. I'm just chilling here. I love you, too. Bye. You uh, didn't tell him about the gestational hypertension thingy. Yeah, I know. But if I did, he would just freak out and rush right over here. And then he would blame himself for not pushing me to come in earlier. But you're going to be watered. He's going to know eventually. I know, I know. I just, I just wanted to spare him from roaring like a maniac, at least for a little while. I mean, just one of us worrying about me is good enough. And I really wanted those chocolate croissants. I just caught up with Shen. Boy, I don't envy him. With all the rumors speculating online, spouting all kinds of theories about why he might have killed Adam. He has never dealt well being in the public eye, which is why I keep telling him not to bother about what they're saying. If you were accused of a crime, won't you feel the need to defend yourself? If people have made up their minds about you, nothing you say is going to make a difference. And you'll just sound more defensive. I guess by this time, people are backing up their claims and pulling up all his old social media posts. Yeah, like the one where he suddenly announced his breakup with Yoke. I just hope they don't dig up his DID. That would be terrible. And knowing people with their assumptions and biases, they are sure to blame it on his DID. Well, it's a reflection of them, not young, right? True, but it won't help the noise against him. Chef, we here? Sir, regarding the rooftop death, a witness has come forward. A witness? Why only now? Mm, he didn't say, but he claims he saw what happened on the rooftop. All right. Where can we meet the guy? Hey! Hey, these chocolate croissants better be damn good, man. I had to queue up two hours just to get them. I'm sure Cameron will appreciate the effort. <sighs> well, see, I don't know, man. Most of my so-called efforts these days ends up me getting scolded for overreacting. Yeah, it's just a bit of a balancing act. Hey, do you want to join us for tea or something? I might not get scolded as bad if you are around. Yeah, I would like to help you, but I really need to be at my meeting. IT stuff. Uh, could you pass this to Cameron? Yeah. Wish me luck. Huh? You mean all these people come here just to see if Ella is here? Yeah. Those customers were brutal. I had to get rid of all of them. And they don't even buy anything. Luckily, Ella wasn't here to see it. How? What you do, ma? What do ma? How? We just have to tahan. Now uh, I need to go and see the supplier. You can some? I want to help Ella. Everyone, please don't disturb Ella and Dr. Chen anymore. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What are you doing, handsome? Making a video. Handsome, I know you think it's going to help them, but honestly, it won't. Why? Handsome. You know, back in the day, people used to say all sorts of crap about me online. When? When I was younger. When I was, how shall I say, more free-spirited. Anyway, Handsome, I used to get super affected by what they said. I would respond to every single one of those comments. Did they help? Nope. In fact, the more I defended myself, the more crap they said about me online. The fact is, Handsome, People think they can say anything about anyone online because they're hiding behind a computer screen. And that gives them license to be as mean as they want. Really? And they're not interested in hearing anything you have to say about it. They are only interested in trolling you for the sake of it. Is Jessica also one of the two? No, I... Look, she's just going through a tough time. 
She just lost her son. The bottom line is, we do not feed the trolls. So you were making a delivery in the opposite block of the hospital? Yeah. Food delivery for the nurses. That's when you saw two men on the roof of the hospital. Two Chinese men. One with specs, one with specs. Yeah, these two. They were talking. Maybe they were arguing. You saw what happened? I delivered my food. Next thing, I heard someone screaming. When I looked, he was really on the ground. The case has been widely reported in the news. Why didn't you come forward with this information before? It happened so fast. I also wasn't very sure if... Yet, you're so confident that these two were involved. The day after it happened, I had to visit my mother in JB. It's only last night when I came back, then I realized it's such a big deal. When did you leave for JB? Immediately after the incident? Yeah. You were in such a hurry, you didn't bother to stop by the police station to make a report. Yeah. Even though men had died. Yeah. Hey! Hey, I'm so sorry for disturbing you during a meeting. It's okay, what's going on? I screwed up, Kenneth. It's all happening because of me. Okay, all right. What are you talking about? Gestational hypertension can lead to kidney damage, reduce the blood flow to the placenta, cause the babies to be born premature. Cameron wouldn't even be here if you didn't pick up on a high BP in the first place. <sighs> I should have anticipated this. Hey, hey, listen. You are doing a great job, all right? You are way more supportive than I was when Dee was expecting. Really? For sure. And Dr. Paul said that the hypertension is mild. So uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves, OK? Everything will be fine. Mmm. These are so good. I'm sorry, Kim, that I freaked out. And I forgive you because of these. I'm just so glad that you're okay now. Look, Ajay, I... I appreciate that you... care enough to freak out about everything. But you're gonna be a great dad, even if you remain calm. Okay. I get that loud and clear. <laughs> I love you. And I love you more. Okay, I guess that's my cue to leave. Hey, Kenneth, thanks again. Hey, why don't you take some croissants for the kiddos? Sure, why not? Um, sorry. It's not gonna happen. You ate them all already? Wow. <laughs> it's okay, just ignore them. Serve them with a smile as always. People can think what they want. Yay! I also say I just ignore them. In the end, I'm sure the truth will come out and everything will be okay. Are you sure you're okay? I'm trying to be. What else can I do? If you are not okay, uh, you have to tell me, you know, I don't want you to... I know, but things are different now. I have a daughter and I'm in a committed relationship with a man I truly love. I have to be strong not just for myself, but for my family. I know Adam doesn't seem like the type, but if you dig deep enough into his connections, maybe you'll find some leads on the dangerous people he mentioned. Actually, I want to back up a bit. You just recovered bits of your memory, correct? Yes, but... I wonder if we can be sure if what you recalled is accurate. I'm trying hard to recollect, but... I mean, I have short-term memory loss from a head injury. Now, I'm no doctor, but from my understanding, short-term memory loss resolves on its own. I thought it's interesting that you engage a psychiatrist. It's a personal choice. Is he treating you for anything else? 
You know I don't need to answer that. You know what else I find interesting? You and Adam stayed such good friends, even though Ella married him, dumped him, and is now with you. What's your point? What was so important that had you rushing all the way to meet Adam at the hospital before your flight? I don't remember. Maybe he told you that he still has feelings for Ella, that he's not ready to give up on her. He didn't. I thought you don't remember. I remember that. You remember getting mad and confronting him to trash it out? No. That makes things inconvenient, doesn't it? For all we know, you met him up there and there was a scuffle and you just pushed him off the roof. That didn't happen. We have a witness who disagrees. What? Who? He's lying. Or he's not. But you don't remember. <laughs> arrest me then if you think I did it. Am I under arrest? Like I said, we're just having a chat. Thank you for your time. Yeah. I hope you're not planning to continue with your holiday plans, Natasha. That's all I ever wanted. I won't let you down. I promise. You could never let me down. I was just thinking about our father. He needs to know. How am I supposed to tell him how I got PID? Well, you don't have to tell him everything. I know he's been hoping for a child. He has to know that it won't be easy. Maybe we could wait a while more. Madeline, it's not good to lie to your father. If you're scared, we can tell him together. But the sooner he knows, the better. <laughs>